Daily Mass Readings First Reading A reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how can some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then empty too is our preaching, empty too your faith. Then we are also false witnesses to God, because we testified against God that He raised Christ, whom He did not raise if in fact the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Responsorial Psalm Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hear kin to my prayer from lips without deceit. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee, from their foes to refuge at your right hand. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hide me in the shadow of your wings, but I, in justice, shall behold your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. A Proclamation of the Holy Gospel According to Luke Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve, and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward Chusa, Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their resources.